everything we might know about the history of human evolution could be wrong, with scientists now postulating that Africa may not be the birthplace of humankind. In a shocking reversal, scientists now say that the earliest hominids lived in Europe, not Africa, according to recent fossil discoveries. Remarkably, the discovery of an 8.7 million year old fossil ape calls into question long accepted theories about human origins. This discovery could not only cause a paradigm shift in our understanding of human evolution, but it also pushes the date of hominin arrival on Earth back much further than previously thought. The last common ancestor of chimps and humans marks the beginning of human and chimp evolution. Moreover, when it comes to reconstructing the nature of our ape ancestors, fossil apes are critical. Fossil apes can teach us important lessons about ape A and human evolution, such as the nature of our last common ancestor. Though it's difficult to believe, apes lived in Europe 12 million years ago, with white Africa-like savannas to roam, hunt, and forage in. It was a good place to be. However, the environment then began to change around 10 million years ago, and droughts became severe as the Sahara formed and rapidly spread. More than 8 million years ago, the beginnings of a desert in North Africa and the spread of savannas in Southern Europe may have played a key role in the separation of the human and chimp lineages. Detailed analysis in the study also reveals that Balkan Greek and Anatolian apes descended from ancestors in Western and Central Europe. The research provides evidence that these other apes were also hominines implying that the entire group evolved and diversified in southeastern Europe, as opposed to the alternative scenario in which separate branches of apes moved independently into Europe from Africa over the course of several million years, and then went extinct without leaving descendants. In fact, there is no evidence of the latter situation, though it remains a favorite proposal among those who do not accept the European origin hypothesis. These findings challenge the long-held belief that African apes and humans only evolved in Africa. While early hominine remains are abundant in Europe and Anatolia, they were completely absent in Africa until about 7 million years ago, when the first hominin suddenly appeared there. Nonetheless, this new evidence supports, but does not prove. The hypothesis that hominins originated in Europe and dispersed into Africa with many other mammals between 9 and 7 million years ago, more fossils from Europe, and Africa between 8 and 7 million years old, are needed to establish a definitive link between the two groups. Dust storms transported salty dust from the Sahara to the northern Mediterranean coastline, just as they do today, according to sediments found near the locations of these fossils and an analysis of uranium, thorium and lead isotopes within them. Indeed, new evidence shows that the storms were a much more destructive phenomenon at that time, much more than previously believed. Chimps in Europe and Africa would have been separated for 500,000 to 700,000 years due to the Sahara Desert Barrier, causing them to evolve in radically different ways. In The Descent of Man, published in 1871, Charles Darwin proposed that humans descended from an ancestor distinct from any other living species in Africa. Nonetheless, given the scarcity of fossils at the time, he remained cautious. Time. 150 years later, possible hominins e close to the time of the human chimp divergence, have been discovered in Eastern and Central Africa. And, importantly, some have been found some in Europe. The number of species in the human family tree has exploded in the 150 years, since Charles Darwin speculated that humans originated in Africa, but so has the level of disagreement about early human evolution. Fossil apes are frequently at the center of controversy, with some scientists dismissing their significance to the origins of the human lineage known as the hominins and others bestowing important evolutionary roles on them. Nevertheless, a new review published in the journal Science examines the major discoveries in hominin origins since Darwin's works and argues that fossil apes can teach us important aspects of ape and human evolution, such as the nature of our last common ancestor. Chimpanzees are the closest living relatives of living humans where the last chimp-human common ancestor lived, on the other hand, is a central and contentious issue in paleoanthropology. Until now, scientists assumed that the lineages diverged only five to seven million years ago and that the first pre-humans evolved in eastern Africa. But new dating has allowed scientists to relocate the human-chimp split to the eastern Mediterranean region. It is the beginning of the Mycenaean period, 
which culminates in the complete desiccation of the Mediterranean Sea. Thus, the findings called into question one of paleoanthropology's most dogmatic claims since Charles Darwin, that the human lineage originated in Africa. Furthermore, more than 50 fossil epigenera have been discovered in Africa and Eurasia. Many of these fossils, however, exhibit mosaic combinations of features that do not correspond to expectations for ancient representatives of the modern ape and human lineages. As a result, there is no scientific agreement on the evolutionary role of these fossil apes in human evolution. The ancestors of humans split from apes, specifically. The chimp lineage, between 9.3 million and 6.5 million years ago, near the end of the Miocene epoch. Paleoanthropologists are seeking to reconstruct the physical characteristics, behavior, and environment of the last common ancestor of humans and chimps in order to better understand hominin origins. When you look at the narrative for hominin origins, it's a big mess because there's no scientific consensus whatsoever. There are two major approaches to solving the human origins problem. Top down, which focuses on living apes, particularly chimps, and bottom up which emphasizes the larger tree of mostly extinct apes. Living ape species are highly specialized relics of a much larger group of now extinct apes when we consider all evidence. That is, both living and fossil apes and hominins. It's clear that a human evolutionary story based on the few ape species that are currently living is missing much of the bigger picture. Some scientists, for example, believe that hominins descended from a chimp-like knuckle-walking ancestor. Others argue that the human lineage descended from an ancestor who resembled some of the strange Miocene apes in some ways. The unique and sometimes unexpected features and combinations of features observed among fossil apes, which often differ from those of living apes, are necessary to untangle which features hominins inherited from our ape ancestors and which are unique to our lineage. Therefore, evidence from living apes alone is insufficient. Current theories about ape and human evolution would be much more informed if Miocene apes were included in the equation, alongside early hominins and living apes. In other words, fossil apes are necessary for reconstructing the starting point from which humans and chimps evolved. In point of fact, a fossilized ape discovered in Turkey that lived 8.7 million years ago is challenging the long-held beliefs about human origins. This discovery lends support to the theory that African apes and the ancestors of humans evolved in Europe and then migrated to Africa seven to nine million years ago. On a Deluvius Turkey, the newly identified ape demonstrates that Mediterranean fossil apes are diverse and are part of the first known radiation of early hominines, which includes African apes, including chimps, bonobos, and gorillas, humans, and their fossil ancestors, the finding also suggests that hominines not only evolved in Western and Central Europe, but spent over 5 million years there, before spreading to the Eastern Mediterranean and eventually dispersing into Africa, most likely as a result of changing environments and diminishing forests. The members of this radiation, to which Anadoluvius belongs, are currently only identified in Europe and Anatolia. This conclusion is based on an examination of a significantly well-preserved partial cranium, which includes the majority of the facial structure and the front part of the brain case. The completeness of the fossil has allowed researchers to do a broader and more detailed analysis, using many characteristics and attributes that are coded into a program designed to calculate evolutionary relationships. Previously described fossils did not have as much brain case, so the analysis was incomplete. An Anadolivius was about the size of a large male chimp and close to the average size of a female gorilla lived in a dry forest setting, and probably spent a lot of time on the ground according to the researchers. We don't have any limb bones. But based on its jaws and teeth, the animals found alongside it, and geological indicators of the environment, Anadoluvius most likely lived in relatively open conditions, as opposed to the forest settings of living great apes. This is more like what we think early human environments in Africa were like. The strong jaws and large, thickly enameled teeth indicate a diet rich in hard or tough food from terrestrial sources such as roots and rhizomes. Furthermore, prehistoric giraffes, warthogs, rhinos, antelope zebras, elephants, hyaninas, and lion-like carnivores were among the animals that lived alongside Anadoluvius. According to research, this ecological community appears to have dispersed into Africa from the eastern Mediterranean around 8 million years ago. In fact, the European origins of modern African open country 
fauna from the Aeustan Mediterranean have long been known and now we can add the ancestors of African apes and humans to the list of migrants. The discoveries place an Adoluvius on the evolutionary tree that gave rise to chimps, bonobos, gorillas, and humans. Although African apes and the earliest known humans are only known from Africa today, the study concluded that both species and ancestors originated in Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean. Anadoluvius and other fossil apes from neighboring Greece and Bulgaria form a group that is anatomically and ecologically similar to the earliest known hominins. The new fossils are the best preserved specimens of this group of early hominines and they provide the most conclusive evidence to date that the group originated in Europe and later spread to Africa. Thus humans and chimps diverged from their last common ancestor several hundred thousand years earlier than previously thought. These findings also suggest that the split in the human lineage occurred in the Eastern Mediterranean rather than Africa. Finally, despite being a highly compelling theory, this study may have exacerbated the contentious debate over human origins in the paleontological community.